about how the Romans destroyed ancient Corinth. Um, so they destroyed the city in 146 BC, and it was a Roman army led by General Lucius Mummius. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Professor Rao mentioned this before, but uh, the city of Corinth, the ancient city of Corinth, was fairly populous and it was uh, very wealthy because it was located um, on the Ismith, Ismith, Ismis of Corinth. Um, so it was one of the largest cities in ancient Greece before it was destroyed. Um, the sacking of the city was the first time that Romans had directly intervened and punished a major Greek city. The city was totally destroyed and plundered and was abandoned entirely until it was refounded in 44 BC. The Romans' primary motivation for the harsh destruction of Corinth stems from their involvement in triggering the uh, Achean War. So while Rome was engaged with the Carthaginians in the Third Punic War, an, an uprising by the Achean League a group of uh, Greek states occurred, and um, according to a Roman historian, Cassius Dio, the Greeks initiated this conflict. Um, so the Achaean League had previously cooperated with Rome during the Me Macedonian Wars, Macedonian Wars, and uh, so the during the Third Macedonian War, thousands of Achaean people were taken hostage by Rome to guarantee their cooperation during the war, and uh, basically the Romans wanted to break up large cities in the region, so they sent uh, Mummius down to uh, to reduce the power of the Achaean League. And uh, in a populist movement, the people mobbed and insulted a Roman envoy, which effectively <coughs> declared war against Rome. Um, so at the outset of the war, Mummius was stationed in Macedonia, and he advanced into the Peloponnese with 23,000 infantry and 3,500 cavalry. The Achaean commander, Dias, was encamped in Corinth with 14,000 infantry and 600 cavalry. He successfully launched a night attack against the Roman advance guard, but was totally annihilated in the next encounter. Um, so the Achaean League was disbanded and the entirety of mainland Greece was annexed. So after its destruction, Corinth remained mostly deserted until it was re-established in 44 BC by the famous Roman dictator Gaius Julius Caesar. Yay! Uh, uh, Caesar had ordered the reconstruction of the city so shortly before he was assassinated in the Roman Senate, and the city was named the Colony of Corinth in honor of Julius, and uh, it would develop a large population later become the provincial capital of Greece.